what is going on youtube what's going on fellow fantasy people and of course what is up the catch fam we are here to do a little reaction video we have got steven in the house what is going on man hey ready to diagnose the uh, impact of lobster man coming in here man. favorite James player Winston. let's talk some <laughs> new orleans saints real quick let's talk about Jameis winston being named the qb one out of new orleans i saw this coming i just want to put it out there um you did. And you know, man, it's no knock on Taysom Hill, but uh, I, and I mean, part of me early, and you know, late last year was saying that Sean Payton really wanted Taysom Hill as his guy, but in the preseason, I mean, Jameis Winston has just looked better and just like a guy who's going to be able to throw for over five thousand passing yards and thirty touchdowns and thirty interceptions for this <laughs> offense. But nonetheless, <clears throat> man, on a serious note, uh, this has a lot of fantasy implications and. Uh, on a serious note, you got to consider, especially in deeper leagues and in super flex leagues, uh, Jameis Winston's a top 24 quarterback, whether you like it or not, whether you want to joke about it. And uh, it has a lot of implications for uh, the running backs on this team and the Alvin receivers Kamara, on this sure. team. Yeah, a lot of people wary of going out and getting Kamara mm -hmm. because uh, they were scared of Taysom Hill eating in uh, to some of those touches and red zone Which he touches. still will, which he still will, but not as much. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think that's an important note is that Taysom Hill is still going to play and be a part of this offense. Sean Payton uh, loves Taysom Hill. Uh, mm -hmm. They paid Taysom Hill pretty well, and he's going to be kind of that uh, Swiss Army knife for this team. But uh, I think some you know specific players like Marquise Callaway, uh, are, you know, is going to have some positive uh, implications from this, as we've seen Jameis Winston uh, have a good chemistry with Callaway. And I think uh, down the road, this is going to help Mike, Michael Thomas, excuse me, if he ever plays for the Saints again, if he plays this season, and uh, if you want to stash. Michael Thomas as a guy to play for you later on. Yeah, no, I, I totally, I totally understand what you're saying. I mean, it was funny, but we did the NFC South. Uh, I picked Taysom Hill to win it. Um, I thought he was going to bring the most fantasy uh, value to the New Orleans Saints at the quarterback position. Honestly, I, I don't necessarily run away from that statement still because he is going to be such a critical part of this offense, which is lacking skill players right now. I mean, Michael Thomas doesn't come back until the end of the season. If he even does, um, Jameis Winston has been prone to throw interceptions and fumble the ball and lose games. So who's to say Sean Payton, who's been a model of efficiency, doesn't go back to Taysom Hill, who I think he does at the end of the day still trust more, but Jameis just won the job flat out. I'm going to give him a shot. I'm going to give him his chance. Like you said, top 24 type of player here and that's not necessarily because he is Jameis but it's more about he's on the Saints offense which has Sean Payne at the helm um, but Marquise Callaway I mean, he, he's kind of the guy uh, he's been really ripping it up at receiver for the Saints in preseason does that translate to the actual regular season I don't know about it, that but at the same time he is a, he's a sleeper for sure um, but I would say the biggest implications of this are on Alvin Kamara you are going to see now that he's going to get more red zone looks and he's probably going to see more target volume too. Cause when Taysom Hill did play last year, Taysom didn't look as much to Kamara and he didn't look as much to really anything other than running the ball and throwing it to the defense. So um, I don't know. I mean, it, it's, it's mixed results, right? Because am I still excited about this offense? No, because the only real player I loved was Kamara. Um, however, with that said, I do think Jameis Winston rises the ceiling of this offense. And I think at the end of the day, too, the way they win their games is going to be built off the defense and controlling the clock. Yeah. I mean, in terms of, uh, you know, this team becoming a lock uh, for a heavy passing offense, uh, that's certainly at the end of the day what's happened here, right? What you can count on. So, at the moment, Marquise Callaway is your wide receiver one, so I think he's certainly worth a draft pick, especially in deeper leagues. Um, how confident are we in that draft pick? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we don't have a great sample selection, even though Marquise Callaway has been in the league for a couple of years now. Uh, he's just always been behind other guys, right? But uh, nonetheless, I think he deserves to be on draft boards, especially in 14-man-plus leagues. Um, yeah. And look for him to be a sneaky 
uh, draft selection as well as a guy who's going to come up on the waiver wire. And that brings me to my next point is that uh, this team is going to have to have some sort of wide receiver two and wide receiver three outside of Alvin Kamara. So someone else is going to pop up on this team. We know uh, that Sean Payton is going to try and throw the ball a shit ton with Jameis Winston behind there. As long as he's not throwing too many interceptions or fumbling like you alluded to, he's going to be the QB one. Uh, mm. you know, and I think uh, in whatever super flex format as well as uh, whatever leagues out there allow you to play Taysom Hill as a receiver yeah. or tight end, he's going to yeah. be valuable at those positions, you know. Uh, so that might not be in a lot of your standard leagues, but for the leagues out there that, you know, allow that, uh, Taysom Hill still has some value, right? Yeah, so, for sure. I think you hit it right on the dot. Uh, Alvin Kamara is, you know, by far, um, well, you know, I think that at the end of the day, he's going to benefit from this. But you could still make the argument that he actually does not benefit from this. And in the red zone, you're going to see those packages where Taysom Hill comes in. And we know he's not going to be the QB1. Uh, and if he is, you know why he's in there. So honestly, as much as I want to sit here and say, you know, for sure that Alvin Kamara benefits from this, I think with the way that Sean Payton runs this offense, we might have to wait until regular season to really know. But nonetheless... Yeah. I'm excited to see Jameis out there. You know, I like rooting for these, <laughs> hey, I'm these excited too, quarterbacks man. that, uh, you know, throw, uh, you know, a million interceptions. And uh, hey, he got LASIK uh, surgery, man. So he's obviously going to be thrown for 5,000 yards, 50 touchdowns, and zero picks. So like time can tell, man. Yeah, like I mean, that's tell. that's the way he looks right now in preseason, man. That guy's yep. dynamite right now. Yeah, yeah. So there you have it, man. I mean, that's our immediate reaction, you know, to uh, – Jameis Winston being named the QB one. Uh, I I feel like I'm more excited than Steven is, but take yeah, take this into consideration. <laughs> overall, it's gonna have fantasy impacts. We're gonna see this uh, obviously impact the Saints' regular season. So uh, maybe we'll see some fun shootouts between uh, Tom Brady and Jameis Winston this year. Who knows? Maybe the Saints. That would be fun. That would hey, be don't fun. Don't forget that like the Saints were a top team in the NFL. You know. Just a year or two ago, you know, with uh, Drew Brees' departure, should we count them out completely? I mean, I think we'll find out this season. Yeah, so, nonetheless, we, we thank you all very much for watching and or listening. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash the like button. And uh, we ask that you please consider subscribing uh, or just go ahead and subscribe because it takes two seconds. And drop some comments down below with what you guys think is going to happen within this New Orleans Saints offense now that Jameis Winston is leading the pack. I'll head, or knock it over to you, Stephen, for any final notes on the night. Yeah, so uh, one last sleeper on this Saints team. I do think it's a, a impact off of James Winston being a starter. Traquan Smith, wide receiver, deep threat for this team, like the Ted Ginn of old. Uh, I think James Winston's going to target him in heavy volume because he loves going deep. Um, but outside of that, I, I also want to just throw it back out to you, the catch fam, and see what y'all think about this. You know, are you a little disappointed Taysom Hill is not starting? Because I tell you what, as a fantasy owner, I am because I think Taysom Hill presented some pretty damn good value at the end of drafts to take him and get all that rushing upside. It was pretty attractive. So a little upset now that James is starter. I think Steven's lying. He never wanted Taysom Hill. Steven <laughs> is more upset that his guy, Adam Trotman, is out uh, with dealing with Dude. some injuries more than anything and that we couldn't talk about Adam Trotman <laughs> tonight. So we will leave you all with that. <laughs> We thank you all very much for watching and are listening. And remember, you saw it here on The Catch.